It's New Year's, and you brought the younger one here, too. I can't take this anymore! I am her mom. I brought her here for New Year's. What's the problem? I'm not going to raise someone else's kid. I'm Wenya's father. I should take care of her. Where would I send her to? Her own mother doesn't want her. Why do I have to let her in? It's not your home. No one wants you. Xing Jing, why is that that we have two homes when other kids seem to only have one? Hmm. Mama said that we'll understand when we're older. Dad, what's wrong? Your mother's in the hospital. Wenya, one day if I'm not here anymore, you need to take care of yourself. So no matter how hard things get, I know we can all get through it. Why couldn't... Why couldn't I have had a family that was whole? Auntie, why is life always so full of suffering? Almighty God's words very clearly explain the root of people's pain in life. Let's take a look at his words together, then you'll see. As for the reason why, it is not because the ways of God are too elusive, or because the plan of God has yet to be realized, but because the heart and spirit of man are too distant from God. God loses the man of his original creation, and man loses the root of his beginning. This is the sorrow of this mankind. You need to know that God is with us now. The church is our true family. We're no longer alone. When you are weary, and when you begin to feel the desolation of this world, do not be perplexed. Do not cry. Almighty God, the Watcher, will embrace your arrival any time. He is watching by your side, waiting for you to turn back. He is waiting for the day your memory suddenly recovers, becoming conscious of the fact that you came from God. You further realize that the Almighty has been watching there, awaiting your return all along.